USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. Heavy hearts in Houston today, even among those who were nowhere near where this happened. What was supposed to be an evening of fun at the Astroworld Music Festival on Friday night turned deadly as crowds rushed the stage. Just as rapper Travis Scott was performing, it caused a stampede that left eight people dead. Now, Scott says he's heartbroken. Anytime I can make out, you know, anything that's going on, you know, I, you know, I just stop the show and, you know, help them get the help they need, you know. Um, I could just never imagine the severity of the situation. It happened at NRG Park. In addition to the eight people who were killed, more than 300 people were treated at a field hospital for injuries. A federal appeals court has temporarily blocked President Biden's vaccine mandate for big companies. And you're listening to USA Radio News. The sales on at Gap Liberty. American Airlines giving flight attendants who work during the holidays a one-time pay raise as the increased holiday pay will come after very big operational challenges during Halloween weekend. Flight attendants who work Thanksgiving weekend and Christmas through New Year's will get a 150% premium, according to CNN. Those with no absences between November 15th and the 2nd of January will get an even higher premium of 300% for the hours they work during that peak holiday period. It's a big day for runners on both coasts as the 50th annual New York City Marathon is underway. Roughly 30,000 athletes from around the world taking part in that race that goes through all five New York City boroughs canceled last year because of COVID-19. In California, thousands of runners are expected for the annual LA Marathon. Runners do have to wear face masks and they must be vaccinated. This is USA Radio News. Let's fan out and tell people that Liberty Mutual customizes your... Brought to you by Bristol-Myers Squibb and Pfizer. Just a reminder, if you're in a part of the nation that observes daylight saving time, it's over till next time. You were to set your clocks, the ones you have to set yourself manually, fall back an hour, remember? It's a first-of-a-kind case in the United States involving a Chinese spy. Here's more from USA Radio's Michael Fortier. Yan Jun Shu, the first Chinese intelligence officer to ever be extradited to the U.S., convicted in Ohio Friday of trying to steal GE's trade secrets. The Justice Department said as Shu tried to steal information on GE Aviation's composite aircraft fan. The charges date back eight years to when Shu paid aviation experts to fly to China to give university lectures. In one case, a GE engineer from Cincinnati brought secret company documents with him. That engineer then helped the FBI arrest Shu in Belgium three years ago. Shu could get up to 60 years in prison. An FBI official says this should be a wake-up call. China is practicing state-sponsored economic espionage to steal American technology to benefit their economy and military. From the the USA Radio News Florida Bureau. I'm Mike Fortier. Astronauts set to return from the International Space Station won't be able to use the toilet on their return to Earth. NASA says the crew will have to wear absorbent undergarments since the toilet on their SpaceX capsule is out of service. Astronaut Megan MacArthur calling the situation suboptimal, adding it's manageable. From the New England Bureau of the USA Radio Network, I'm Chris Barnes.